Hey everybody, my name is Mike. I am not for Coltrane. I am a singer-songwriter in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. But I'm not coming at you today with a song. Instead, I have some technical information about how you can change your audio settings inside the Zoom teleconferencing software when you're trying to play music through Zoom. There's a lot of interest these days in virtual concerts and virtual open mics, uh, especially right now in this time of social distancing, but probably after that too. Zoom has very quickly become one of the really, really popular ways to bring people together, in particular to bring performers together for these kinds of events. One of the challenges is that Zoom, by default, is really not set up to make you sound good when you're trying to play music. So, if you're on a computer, uh, whether it's a Mac or a PC, there are some changes you can make in the audio settings that are going to improve your chances of sounding good. Now, an important detail, if you are using the Zoom smartphone app, as of the time of this recording in April 2020, these audio settings are not accessible through the Zoom smartphone app. If that changes, I'll go ahead and post an update. But if you are on a computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, there are some things that you can do. So let's go ahead and walk through those. First, go ahead and get the Zoom uh, application, the software that's available for download. Once you have that up and running and you have yourself logged in, look for the settings icon in the upper right. If you don't see the settings icon, you may have to click onto your profile to get into the settings. Then once you have the settings open, go under audio. And first, for your microphone, we're going to uncheck the box that says automatically adjust volume. Then look for the advanced button in the lower right. When we're under advanced, next to suppress persistent background noise, we want to turn that to disable. Then next to suppress intermittent background noise, turn that to disable. And finally, up at the very top where it says show in meeting option to enable original sound for microphone, check that box. Then go ahead and close out of your settings and actually close out of the Zoom application entirely. This seems to work a little bit better when you start it up again. There is one other thing you'll still need to do at this point. So when you are in your meeting, first off, of course, you're going to join using your computer audio. And then you're going to see a button in the upper left that's going to say turn on original sound. You want to click that button. On a PC, it's going to turn blue. Either way, it's now going to say turn off original sound. That's how you know that the original sound is on. And that's it. That's everything that we need to do inside Zoom to make the best audio that you possibly can when you're trying to play music through it. If you're curious about why we're doing all this, I can do my best to offer a little bit of an explanation. Essentially, Zoom is trying to make you sound as good as possible when you're talking through one of these teleconferences. So that means it's going to try to get rid of everything that it thinks doesn't sound like a human voice. If there is a, a fan in the background or air blowing through a vent, if there are birds outside your window or a car going by in the street, it's going to try to get rid of all of those things so that your voice is as clear as possible when you're talking to the other people in the meeting. Unfortunately, that doesn't help us because we are musicians and we have instruments and guitars and pianos and all sorts of things that don't sound like human voices that we want to come through as clearly as possible in the Zoom meeting. So what we're telling Zoom is don't try to take anything out of the sound. Don't try to suppress anything. Don't run any of your algorithms to try to adjust things for us. For the sound that's going into our microphone is exactly what we want to be going through into the conference. I should say also that making these changes is not going to guarantee that you're going to sound great. There are a bunch of other challenges that you'll need to address among them. Uh, the quality of your microphone is a limiting factor. The, uh, the strength and clarity of your internet uh, and the speed of your internet is also going to be uh, a pretty important limiting factor. That said, no matter how good your internet is and no matter how good your microphone is, if you don't make these settings inside Zoom, you're probably not going to sound as good as you'd like. If you have other questions about streaming, about conferencing, about anything technical that's related to musical performance over the internet in situations like this, go ahead and leave a note in the comments and I'll see if I can post some additional videos that answer some of those questions. Thank you very much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, 
take care of each other. My name is Mike. I'm not for Coltrane, and I will see you next time.